This is a CBS News special report. I'm Nora O'Donnell in Vatican City. It is black smoke, it appears, that is coming from inside the Sistine Chapel. The Cardinals, 115 of them, have been gathered there since earlier this morning after saying Mass, and it looks like they have still not chosen a Pope. This is likely the second vote of the morning. It is the first time, however, we have seen smoke. If they did not choose a Pope on the first ballot, they would not do the smoke. This is now likely the second ballot, and that's why we see the black smoke there. It is just about lunchtime here in Vatican City. So given that they have not chosen the 266th pope yet, these cardinals will then break for lunch and a siesta before returning later this afternoon for another two votes. In the past two papal elections, they have decided a pope on the second day. So today is a big day here in Vatican City in order to get elected, you need two-thirds of the cardinals, that is 77 of them, uh, in order to become the Holy Father. We want to go now to Mark Phillips, who is down with the huge crowds that have been here all morning. Mark? Yes, big crowds have assembled here, even though this is still very early in the process. As you rightly said, the fact we're seeing smoke now, black smoke, of course, uh, would indicate that they've done their two votes this morning. Had we seen smoke a little bit earlier after the first vote, the only color that could have been is white, and there wasn't any. So this means there have now been three votes and three inconclusive votes uh, for the next pope. Uh, at this point in the process, as we surmise about what's going on in the Sistine Chapel, uh, it would appear that the front runners have not obviously uh, collected the two-thirds majority, 77 votes that they need. And a very interesting dynamic comes into play at this point as if those front runners haven't in fact collected enough votes, do the Cardinals then start looking at the second tier of candidates? At this point, the votes start shifting. We've established who is leading and probably also established who has no chance of uh, winning this ballot. Now the dynamic starts to shift. Secondary candidates, different coalitions start forming. It's fascinating. Would that we were flies on the wall in the Sistine Chapel, but we're standing out here in the rain watching a chimney. All right, Mark Phillips down there. Uh, amongst all those huge crowds, I'm joined by my co-host, Charlie Rose, here of CBS This Morning. Charlie. Good morning. This is exciting stuff. Uh, Delia, what do you think this means for a front runner if you still have black smoke? Well, I wouldn't read too much into this morning vote. These are, this, these are the results of two ballots, obviously. And it's entirely possible that in the afternoon we could get the white smoke like what happened in 2005. So it could still be a situation where we have two front runners. On the other hand, perhaps last night there were three or four names that came yeah. out with 20 votes each. So this could be an indication that they don't have the, yeah. the front and, and if it looks like there's a competition between two of them, at some point, either the later vote, they'll decide, let's look for an alternative. Correct. And I think then if we don't see the white smoke this afternoon, they'll go into the third day. And that's when I think the field will open up. Delia Gallagher, of course, our CBS News consultant who offers uh, as a journalist who covers the Vatican, a longtime watcher of everything here. Based on what you're hearing in the latest, there's been some shifting about who's up and who's down. What are you hearing about who well, may be the leading contender? I think we always want to be careful what we're hearing because once they go into conclave, we shouldn't be hearing anything from inside. So I would go with what we've heard before they went into the Sistine Chapel, which is that there were two uh, leading contenders, the Archbishop of Milan, Scola, and uh, the Archbishop of San Paolo, uh, who is Cardinal Scherer from Brazil. So uh, those seem to be the two that were right, talked right, about the right. most. So we kind of go with those as the front runners. But of course, anything can happen. And as Charlie said, you know, a third compromise candidate, if we don't see the white smoke uh, by the end of this afternoon, this evening, is, a, is a, a good possibility. Look for alternatives. All right, Delia Gallagher, thank you. Again, we have just seen black smoke at the Vatican, which means no decision yet on Pope. We're going to continue to have complete coverage at 7 on CBS this morning. And right now we want to return you to your local programming. This has been a CBS News special report. I'm Nora O'Donnell along with Charlie Rose in Vatican City. 24 hours a day, go to cbsnews.com.